Hello everyone, how are you? It's Kei. So uh, this is a video session which is recorded on the 10th of May 2022 on Tuesday. So uh, in this video, I would like to talk about one topic which is the change in the market. Because the market changes every day, or almost every day changes. The direction may change, the momentum may change. So let's say yesterday the markets were active, but today they become quiet. Or last week it was active, but today it becomes quiet. Uh, we have these uh, changing markets every day. And when I got one of the very beautiful pictures of Sakura tree, cherry blossoms, I thought about this topic. And that's why I want to talk about this for today's video. So let me switch the screen. So the picture I got was from actually one of the members and it was this. I posted on my Discord group and shared this within the community. But uh, this was the picture I was talking about. It's so beautiful, the sakura tree, cherry blossoms. And uh, it's fully bloom looks like. And um, in Japan, I think uh, most of the cherry blossoms are gone already because it's May. And they don't last long, actually, cherry blossoms. So, um, I, like I mentioned here, in Japan, when we have sakura tree blossoms, we feel the springs here, but they don't usually last long, maybe only one week or so, because we usually have lots of rain. So, when we or I see that, I have a sense of fragile or ephemeral feeling to it, also, uh, which is also considered to be beautiful just because the, act the actual flower doesn't stay forever, but the memory stays forever. I heard this is a unique sense that we Japanese have. So, yeah, like I mentioned like this, when we have sakura tree in Japan fully blossom, then um, usually the rain comes. So, every month, every year, when I was in Japan, every year I was expecting to see the full, full blossom of the tr sakura trees and uh, we I like to I used to go to some park and see these beautiful flowers but um, some days uh, we have heavy rain or some days we have uh, like a you know typhoon uh, after the cherry blossom so once we have that almost all the flowers are gone on the street which is also beautiful, the flowers uh, on the street is beautiful, but uh, we won't see the flowers up on the tree, but uh, they are all gone after this typhoon or heavy rain. And uh, this happens many times when we have the sakura tree. So I think uh, when we see that, or at least when I see that, you know, every time I see the sakura tree flowers, I think it's beautiful, but you know, on the other side, I feel they don't last forever. We can only see that right now, but maybe two days later, there will be a rain comes, but according to weather forecast, so this, these flowers are only uh, you know, available for the next two days. I think in my head and enjoy the beauty of their flowers. So, and here I also said, I think the same is true in trading. Because we may not have opportunities every day, and because the trends do not last forever, the opportunities are fun to look for. And when it ends, you wait until it blossoms again. So, in trading also, the markets are active. Let's say uh, yesterday, the AUD pairs were active, but today, it may not the case. Or tomorrow, let's say today, Let's say the markets are quiet, but tomorrow we may see active markets. And that's why we have to screen charts every day because uh, we don't know uh, when the next trend comes on any pairs. And when the trend happening, then uh, we can of, co of course look for the opportunities until it lasts. And when it ends, you simply exit or be away from the charts until they blossom again, is my mindset. So when I saw that picture, uh, the image of trading and trend, trend follow, and 
when there is a trend, no trend and leave the community, leave that, leave that chart was actually came to my mind. And that's something I wanted to share in, in this community also. So, um, you know, I think this is true on anything. Like uh, when things are active, hit it up, then people may go there and enjoy the things over there. But when it's gone, then people will also be gone. And in that sense, nothing is forever because world is changing, you know, uh, over time. So it may be here now, but it may not be here tomorrow or next week, next month or next year. So this transitoriness, transitoriness or like, a, you know, fragile kind of experiences uh, stays our, in, my, in our memory forever. So as long as you can remember these things happen, then when these things stop it in the markets, then also you can expect it will come in the future. And with that in mind, we keep our consistency on the trace. So that's my mindset. And that's something I wanted to share in the video today. So uh, yeah, it was a bit quick video, but hopefully you enjoyed my small talk today. And uh, I will see you on the next one. Until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.